Hey, are you ready for some hunting on the Tommy Wilcox Show? Tommy Wilcox Outdoors is brought to you by Alabama Credit Union. Feel good about your money. Mahindra Tractors, built for the long haul. Peach Outdoors, get the motor running on your next project with our Mahindra Tractors, ATVs, and lawn equipment. Tuscaloosa Toyota, one price, one place. Talladega County Exchange, for all your feed and agricultural needs. The band Legal Limit, Lou and the guys play all your favorite classic rock and country. Nelson Glass, for all your contract or residential glass needs. All music courtesy of country music legend, Hank Williams, Jr. Hey folks, welcome to today's show. This will be part two of our quail hunt at Cameron's Quail Preserve in Warsaw, Alabama. It's going to be with the Mahindra Tractor Boys. We have Glenn Ezel and a number of his guys from uh, Artec uh, Tractor and Supply just outside of Jasper. We'll have Louisiana Farmers Warehouse, Daryl Foray, and uh, of course we'll have Bubba Ash out of Peach Outdoors, Tuscaloosa, and Clanton. These boys came ready to knock some quail down, and that's exactly what they do. Let's take a look at the Mahindra boys in Warsaw, Alabama, quail hunt. Go now, go Dilly. Look right there. Coming up, bird! Let y'all. Good girl. Good girl. Him, him. Good girl. 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 Get my bird over here. Yes. 
No, you got two dead right here. Like, like one on the game, two. Yeah, they have one still on the game. They ain't getting up. Come here, me. Where you dead with that? Thing? No, the dog got it right here. Look. Bird. I knew it went in there. All right, folks, we got a lot of birds going down. We're going to let the dogs search around and pick up some more birds. Uh, but we're going to take a quick commercial break first, and we'll be right back with you. Stay with us. Thanks to the sponsors that make it possible for us to bring the joy of the outdoors to those who need it most. All of our special guests from those with cancer to our wounded warriors benefit from the generosity of these sponsors. And we encourage you to support the businesses that champion this important work. Hey folks, I uh, got uh, Bubba Ash with me, Peach Outdoors. Bubba, y'all got a couple locations. Tell our viewers where your locations are. We got two locations. Uh, first location is going to be on Clanton off the 205 exit right next to Beach Park. Uh, other locations in Tuscaloosa, 68, 6801 Highway 82 East. Um, right past the Ford and Coca Cola plant on the left, see a bunch of red tractors out there. We're open 8 to 5. During weekdays and 8 to 12 on Saturday, so always got deals and specials running on tractors, side by sides, etc. Tell me about your side by sides. These are uh, I got the Mahindra, utility. Yeah, uh, I got green camo, red crew cab, single cab, 750s and thousands. We're having an invoice sale all through the spring and into the summer. All right, y'all uh, need to pick you up some equipment, y'all. Check Bubba out at Peach Outdoors, Tuscaloosa or Clanton. He prefers Tuscaloosa. Tuscaloosa. <laughs> Get on him! Cross him down! Bad with a Louisiana boy. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, dog. This, this is enjoyable right here. Oh, right here. Whoop. Which way? Whoop. Probably don't go that way. Whoop. Right here. Right here. Good girl. 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 Good
That's all I did there. Dog, Brett, fetch. 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 Good girl. In. In. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Shay takes credit for training this dog. She fed it chicken and rice ever since it was six weeks old. She brought the, started throwing the ball and the ball and she would bring the ball to Shay instead of me. So I had to break that relationship up. <laughs> Good one right there, wasn't it, Tom? Alright, All right, we're ready. Yeah, I got a big limb in her face. Uh -huh. Gotta miss one every now and then. All right, folks, we're gonna take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back with some more quail hunting from Cameron's Quail Preserve in Warsaw, Alabama with the Mahindra Boys. You don't wanna go nowhere. Hey folks, this is Donnie McCaw here with Tommy Wilcox Outdoors, Game Face Calls. I got my good buddy Chris Duke, Talladega County Exchange. Chris, we have had a warm deer season, and I might be crazy, but I heard turkeys gobbling around Christmas, and I've heard them gobbling all the way up through the end of season. Kind of worried that uh, they might be gobbled out by the time spring gets here in my location. Are you hearing anything? I'm hearing the same thing around uh, Talladega and St. Clair County. Right. Uh, I do have a tip for everybody that won't mind. Okay. Most birds get gobbled out early like we think. Right. You need to get you some game cams. Most of y'all probably already have some. Right. And put them in those roosting areas. Put them on your food sources. That's right. That way you can pattern those birds coming in. Get you a time where you can get in there in the woods. You know within a few hours of when they're coming. That's. That's a really good idea. We did that. We do that a lot for midday hunts, uh, but on on a season where turkeys might be gobbled out early in the year, just for an all day thing, that's a great idea. Yeah, yeah, it'll work. I've had success with it in the past as, as turkeys gobbled out, and like you said, in the midday, mm -hmm. I know you have too. Absolutely. But get out there, put those game cams up, and hopefully you'll have a successful 2020 turkey season. From all of us here at Talladega County Exchange, we wish you a great 2020 turkey season. John, talk a little bit about, uh, y'all also do some uh, training of dogs. Right, yep. Uh, on the side, so tell right. our viewers a little bit about that. Well, it goes hand in hand. That's how this place first started out. Uh, Daddy started training dogs in 1962, and it, the quail hunting preserve, it evolved off of the dog training. Um, uh, people would come and pick their dog up, he'd let them kill a bird, and then eventually when wild birds started going downhill, he said, hey, can we come kill a mess of birds? And that's how it all got started with the dog training. What we do is we train barking spaniels, we train labs, we train, of course, pointers, setters, uh, you name it in the upland bird uh, bird dog, we train it. Um, I still, I do a lot of that during the summertime. What's unique about what we do is I can take your dog at the end of the training process. Within about a two or three month period of time, I can kill over about four or 5,000 birds with your dog. And, Nothing finish off with a bird dog than killing birds over top of them and retrieving and really gets them going. You'll have a year and a half old dog, two year old dog that's had four or five thousand birds killed over 
and that bird, that dog will have as much experience as a four or five year old dog. So you can hit the ground running with your dog and uh, you'll, you'll have a whole lot better uh, hunting experience with your dog at a younger age. Get on him right there, get it up, get it up. All right, folks, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back with you from Cameron's Quail Preserve, Warsaw, Alabama. Y'all stay with us. All right, folks, that'll do it for this week's shows. Thanks so much for tuning in. I uh, want to thank all the Mahindra boys for a great shoot. I want to thank the Alabama Credit Union for going ahead and sponsoring this. And uh, I want to thank the Cameron family. As always, y'all did a fantastic job. Folks, in the coming weeks, we'll have some turkey hunts coming up. 
You don't want to miss them. If you're looking for any turkey calls, go to TommyWilcox.com, hit on the merchandise button, and go ahead and get you one for your bag for this turkey season. All right, that's going to do it. Hope to see you right here next week. Thanks. Gassed up, loaded down, trucking on from town to town. Guns, bows, and a tackle box. Here come Tommy Wilcox. Hitting the water, hitting the woods. That Bama boy sure got it good. Always having too much fun.